I might be a little late with this video, let me check. Um, no, actually, I'm just in time. I attended a challenge named Kiss Art February, created by Violet Noel, I hope that's how you pronounce that. Yes, you heard that right, Kiss Art February. See, this year has been a long fun for many of us. In fact, it might have seemed longer than usual. You might say it's already in November or something, but it's not true. In fact, the deadline of this challenge was the end of February. And just would you look at that? It happens to be the 30th of February. It means that I'm still in time for uploading the... Wait. Yes, there we go. What was I saying? Yes, I'm still in time for uh, completing the video of the Kiss Art February challenge. Welcome back. Now let's not waste even more time because the clock is ticking. For this challenge I decided to do what I always do. Harry Potter fan arts. See, I'm not a big fan shipper or anything, but I do have one favorite non canon ship, which is Luna and Hermione. Strange thing, they don't actually have an established ship name in the fandom. There's even a name for a three way relationship between Harry, Hermione, and Luna. It is called Lunar Harmony, but there's no name for simply Luna slash Hermione. I've been calling it Lumine, but then I learned that it's already taken by Lucius slash Hermione. I'm not even making this up. Was I just aimlessly ranting about ship names? Moving on. I've made a few pictures of my two favorite characters together before, including these 15 pixel arts for a pixel art challenge from last year. Now it's time for me to do something a bit more familiar, digital paintings. I only completed uh, roughly the first half of this challenge with 13 pictures in total. All of these are different types of kisses that I painted using these two characters. For the first 12 I went on a different route, I decided to try out new things. Sort of like a project that is being done inside a sketchbook, where I just take every prompt, choose something I want to try out, be it some new brush that I made or some different technique, or just some unusual images. The common thing I kept through the whole project was uh, using this effect called angel light. I make the pictures in black and white, then I add a colorful light to make a piece more interesting. This was kinda started by the artist uh, Angel Ganev, but everyone just started ripping him off so he named it angel light after himself to save some credit. For the 13th picture I came up with something extra. I made an entire illustration with three full body characters in a scene. Again, I'm going into fandom territory for those unfortunate souls who don't know. In the fan art slash fanfiction community, pairing non-straight characters has always been a thing. But guess what? Making non-straight characters having kids together is also popular, though it can be a bit more uh, diversive. How fortunate that the Harry Potter universe has magic in it. So if you're a fan whose ships are as straight as a Wand of Bellatrix, Congratulations, you just found yourself a plot device to justify Harry having children with Voldemort. If you are more mainstream than me. See, if I wanted to rank Harry Potter ships based on how outrage inducing they are, then about this would be Ron and Hermione, and then this would be, I don't know, um, Harry and Draco, and this would be Dolores Umbridge and Buckbeak. And if I wanted to show you where Luna slash Hermione would be, then my upstairs neighbor would be wondering why is there a hand poking out from their floor. Look at the bright side now, I can make a picture of Hermione and Luna taking their daughter to platform 9 and 3 quarters and claim that it could actually be canon. Just kidding, rolling is simply tripping too hard on Bigotrium to agree with me. By the way, I named her Pandora Hermione Lovegood Granger. Her initials are on this suitcase. Where should I put myself to show this properly? I think uh, this one is the weakest, so I'm just going to put it here and uh, slide this one here and now I can uh, like kinda... Oops. Now I can kinda fit in there and uh, and this one is just going to be peeking in the corner here 
like that. By the way, now that I'm talking about it, these two ended up being my favorites. These two somehow ended up being the best ones, mostly because of these really strong light effects. This one is just halfway abstract, but ended up nice. And many of these have uh, a lot of issues, including uh, this one, the big one. It has like broken anatomy on every character somewhere. At least the atmosphere is right. I think I could uh, mostly capture the feeling of platform nine and three quarters. Feel free to disagree with me. Funny thing, my mother always sees my LGBTQ plus themed uh, pictures. And she doesn't explicitly hate them, but uh, kind of shares the opinion with most of the people who were at the Easter side of the Iron Curtain. So I told her that this was Luna taking her daughter to Platform 9 and 3 quarters, and she lost her ticket, and her mind just happened to find it, and she's about to give it back. Just uh, don't ask her who was the person uh, Pandora inherited her wavy hair from. Overall, I count this project to be a success. As I said, I'm a little late with uh, Oops. Every time. As I said, I'm a little late with uh, posting it because it's already the 30th. But I'm not 10 months late or something. That would be, ooh, that would be insanely bad. Either way, I <laughs> hope that it was a wholesome experience seeing these pictures being created in a few minutes and listening to my fandom speech. If you found the letter annoying, then I'm sorry, but I have to diagnose you with a really serious condition, being an oblivious normie. And for that, I'm going to plant a seed inside your brain. If you think that you like Harry Potter, tell me about Daphne Greengrass. For the rest of you, I thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day, do some art, even if it involves uh, stretching the boundaries of canon a little bit, especially if it does, but most importantly, have fun while doing that. Farewell. I keep thinking who this video is for. Like, I'm making an art video about me making Harry Potter fan arts. So it's also a fandom thingies video now, but specifically for HP fans. But not just for regular fans, but the fans who are involved in the online uh, fandom culture. So how could you come up with a video idea that is more obscure than this? So if you're still someone who's interested in this and watched it, then uh, please drop me a comment and uh, I, I will know that I wasn't just talking into the void and uh, consider subscribing for more art videos. And if you don't subscribe, then uh, the fact that you didn't subscribe is going to distract Luna once again. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that is something that you don't want. Why is Hermione drinking a tentacle?